Rachel and today we're going to be making a book accordion organizer. For this project you're going to need a hardcover book, a safety razor and scissors, a cardboard um, real thin piece to put in between your pages while you're cutting, paper clips, a glue gun, and glue sticks. So let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is decide how many pockets you want to have in your folder. I found it best to have at least two pages for each dividing section. So I will go ahead and paper clip those sections together on each end. And then we can find roughly the middle. We'll use that one as one of our dividers. And then we'll do one roughly in the middle of those sections. And then in, the mid in between the middle and the front of the book. By using paper clips or binder clips or something to keep these pages together, that's going to help us envision where our folder pockets are going to be. So then we start, and I found it best to take the sheets that aren't paper clips together. Those are the ones that we're going to cut out. And so I put my cardboard in between here, and that keeps me from cutting through all the way through the pages that I want to keep. So take your safety knife or scissors and carefully cut those pages out. We will want to keep these pages because they're going to make the sides of the accordion folder in just a second. So we've cut all of the pages in between two sections that we were going to use as our dividers. And we'll do that for each of the sections that don't have the paper clips. We'll cut all of those out. So we have a book that looks like this. So I've got one, two, three, four, five sections of paper clipped pages together. And I am going to take the first one, unpaper clip it and glue those two pieces of paper together. This just helps reinforce the pocket portions of our folder. Now be careful, remember hot glue is hot. And we'll do that for each section of our book being careful to only glue the ones that are paper clipped together and not everything to each other. So that we have thicker dividers in between for our book. roughly like this. Some thick pages in between, a bunch of cutout pages that are going to be our pockets. Now we will need to get the pages that we cut out from in between all of those sections. And I went over and over this trying to figure out the best measurement for my pockets. And I, no matter which book I used, the easiest measurement I had was to fold the page in half like a hamburger and then back towards that fold, back towards the end, just to make a little fan. And then you put it in that way and flip it over and just make your accordion-like folds. And doing it this way 
somehow turned out perfect for the amount of give I needed every time. That is hamburger wise. Back towards the fold. Back towards the end. Over towards the middle. Flip it around. And then keep doing your reverse folds till you have your accordion. Once you have several of these, we're going to glue the ends together just like that. And I did like a little wavy line because these don't have to be super, super held, just enough. You'd be surprised how strong the glue gun is. Flip it to get those ends together so that they're reinforced that way. Until we have a long strip of our folds. So this measurement also works for the width of the book to put it in like this. But if you do have some measurements that don't quite line up with each other, you can take your scissors and just trim them. So that they're all perfectly in line with each other. Once we have all of our folds done together, we're going to take the one that we glued together and starting on one end we are going to paper clip to the edge just to kind of give us a holding point and then we're going to do one envelope and then the next one will hold our next divider and we're going to clip that in place to hold it We'll have an empty one, and then the next one will hold our next pocket. And this does take a little bit of manipulation, so if you don't see it right away, that's okay. You've got to play with it a little bit. It'll be one empty one, and then the next one will have your pocket. Empty one, and then the next one. You have to kind of squish it down into the, the seam of the book too. It's going to want to naturally come up further on the top than it, we need it to be. We'll just squish it down in there, paper clip it in place, and then we want an open one and then the next one will be glued to our cover of the book. So we're going to cut that off right there. And then you can paper clip that one to the edge so you know where it is supposed to lay. And then we've got the setup. Now I suggest before we glue this down, you do the other side as well, because if not, trying to fit the, the pages back in their order is a nightmare. Here we've got one that's all paper clipped together and is ready to be glued. So we will carefully, one at a time, release our paper clip and put our glue on the edge here. Close it in place. Now the inside of the folders are a little bit trickier. You have 
to bring it out just a little bit so that you can get your glue down inside of here to catch this piece of the accordion. and then now it's stuck. But you have to also do the opposite side so that stays close together. And then you'll keep going until all of your sides are glued into place and you have your accordion book. These are great for holding loose pieces of paper, coupons, anything you can imagine, your drawings. It's so, so much fun to do. And if you get a book that's going to work, but you don't like what the cover looks like, you can easily cover it with your own paper or fabric. And the possibilities are endless.